Good day, everyone. How you going? The most Aussie thing about Australia is a good old fashioned meat pie. It's uh, like a religion to some and everyone has their own way of making their favourite meat pie whether it be chicken, turkey, beef, pork, lamb, vegetarian but today I'm making some roast lamb and minted meat pies we had roast lamb the other night and a lot of people that do have a roast think, what the hell am I going to do with all that leftover meat? I only needed to feed four of us, but I've got enough meat to feed twelve. What am I going to do with all that? Well, I'm going to show you what I do with mine. Grab yourself your lamb and cut it up. To whatever size you want. If you want a nice chunky pie, cut it up into big chunks. If you want a smaller chunk, cut it up smaller. Now, I recently made some mint sauce, which you can view the video. And, uh, have a look, it's on my channel. To this now I'm just going to add some onion powder. You can add onions if you like. And a bit of garlic powder. And you can add fresh garlic if you like probably best to, if you're going to use fresh garlic, to roast it off a little bit so you don't get that huge hit of, oh my god there's garlic in here, bit of pepper, as much as you like. Now this is my mint sauce from last season, so this is about nine months old, but last year I used um, malted vinegar instead of white vinegar that's why it's so dark whereas this year I used white vinegar um, so that there was more of a green colour doesn't matter what vinegar you use it all comes down to a personal taste so we're going to add <coughs> a couple of teaspoons or tablespoon of that Now, I've got some leftover gravy. If you don't have any leftover gravy and you want to do this, just make your gravy the night before or a couple of hours before you do this because you want your gravy to be cold. If it's hot gravy, it's going to run all through your pie. It just makes it easier if the gravy's cold. Mix all of that together. <coughs> And there's your filling. Okay, back with me pastry. Now this is just store-bought pastry. You can make your own if you wish. Um, and I also have a pie machine. It's called Pie Magic. It's by Sunbeam. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're available in America or not. Um, it makes four pies. I leave mine pre-oiled um, so that there's no flaking and that also comes with two cutters. So just make your bottom and then your top.
This could be made as a food storage recipe. Please correct me if if I'm wrong. But with your your meat filling, you could pressure can that so that it was ready to go. So all you had to do was open the tin and make your pastry from food storage and you've got pies. Put your meat in. Put your lid on top. Your pie's done. So I'll keep going with the others until I've got four in there. There we go. All four pies are done. So now we just close the lid. Come back in about about ten minutes and the pies will be done. Okay, so let's check our pies. Beautiful. Okay, I'll just grab one out. There's your pie. There's your pie. Bit of sauce. 